Wow. I don't know why. Like, so many agents don't even want to touch this space when it's so lucrative. They have, like, a the second you say it, their brain, like, shuts off. Uh, it's, it's so weird. I didn't even have to tell him to say this. He was just like, why are realtors not doing this? Because it's crazy not to. You can make so much money doing rentals. This guy over here, he wants up to $6,000, and he wants multiple properties. I could be making $12,000 in commission off of that one phone call. Hey, guys, it's Andy Coleman, and I made $135,000 this month doing real estate. I'm going to show you how I did it by doing all of my cold calls. I do my any broker advertised strategy where I'm posting any broker advertised listings from the MLS on Facebook Marketplace and then they call me and then I basically take them to go see that property and then I also set them up directly on the MLS. So I'm going to show you how I actually do these calls, how I'm making over $100,000 every single month from doing this now. Okay, let's begin. So I had a few missed calls today. I'm just going to randomly call them back and see who picks up. <laughs> Hey, it's Andy Coleman with EXP Realty. I saw I had a missed call from you before. Hi, how are you? Yes, this is Alicia. So I actually saw that you called before and I wanted to know which property it was about. Let me double check. You know, during these processes, there actually have been a few people I have called. Oh, um, you know what? That's, that's okay, actually. If you want, I can set you up directly on the MLS. If you're having a hard time finding a property now, I can just set you up directly on the MLS. So you're the first person to see a new listing. So how does that MLS work? Basically, that's where the realtors post all the listings from, obviously. Like they all start in the MLS and they get distributed out to all the other sites. So yeah, I can get you set up directly there. There. Any new property that pops up, you're going to be the first one to see it. And then I'll help you out because I do specialize in rentals. Okay, so how does getting that set up work then? Yeah, let me let me do it now. And then the landlord pays the commission though, so you don't even have to worry about that. Um, okay, so, so there's yeah. no fees associated on my end. If, if I get you into a place and get you accepted, I charge a tiny little fee, but you won't even notice it. And it's only if I get you into a place. Um, so, But yeah, the landlord covers the bulk of the commission though. It's half a month's rent typically. Of uh, the, what the landlord would pay. And then what is that tiny little fee? that I would have to pay? Just 200 bucks. 200. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I do 300, sometimes 400, but I'll do 200 for you. Okay, and is that due at the time of applying or when is that? No, due? no, no, only when you move into the place and get the keys. Okay. So yeah, let me get this all set up for you now. So what towns do you wanna be in? I would say um, Lake Worth looks nice. We also like Boynton. Um, West Palm, but not too far north. So I'll go from Boynton up to West Palm and stop there? I would say so, yeah. And okay. I mean, if there is anything down south further than Boynton, we are still open to that, but those are our preferred locations. So maybe like Boca up to West Palm? We, uh, I would even say Delray. Boca Delray, so Delray. I'll do, yeah. yeah. So now in terms of price, what is the max price you guys can do per month? We are looking at 25 and that is pretty max. Pretty max for a two bedroom or a three bedroom? A three. Got it. So what I'll do is I'll go up to 27, no minimum. This way you can just compare okay. and see, you know, obviously three bedrooms around here, they're starting around 25. So mm -hmm. you might want something a little bit nicer, um, but no big deal if you don't. So, all right, I'm going to do three twos, 2,700 square feet. You know, I'm going to keep that at 1,200 plus. Obviously anything under that will be a little bit small. I'm going to do no 55s and olders, unfurnished properties, um, pets. Do you guys have any pets? No. No pets, perfect, that'll be even easier. That's about it. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna send you all of these now. When do you guys need to move by? We would like to move in by October 1st. We are flexible, um, but October 1st would be the soonest. Okay, so coming up about a month from now, which is good because, you know, some of these HOAs take up to 30 days to approve you. So yeah. it's, it, you know, obviously some of them take only a week or two weeks, but it's good to start now. So yeah, let me get this set up now. And then credit and background, everything is clean on your end. Good credit and good income and everything yeah i think our medium credit is like 720 so yeah 720 so you got, you got great credit then <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> yeah you got great credit so you'll you'll basically get approved for like whatever you want for the most part okay all right and another issue that we've been coming across is apparently parking because we do have three cars and i know uh, some hoas um do not allow um, residents to park and guest for long term exactly that's exactly correct so i'm just gonna do single families and townhomes then and kind of like you know i won't do apartment complexes so i'm gonna i'm gonna filter that out right now for you this way you're not gonna have to worry about that and hopefully well actually you know what let me keep them because just in case some HOAs do actually allow that. So let me keep them just in case. Cause I know the price point was a little bit on the lower side, you know, in terms of like single families and townhomes. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep them all yeah. just in case, but we, we will make a note of it though. You know, we'll, we'll tell them, Hey, you know, got three cars. Will this actually work with the HOA? Okay. 
Okay. Awesome, awesome. All right, let me get this all set up for you now. Sorry, what was your name again? It's Alicia. Okay, and last name. Um, all right, so what's your, what's your email address? At gmail.com. At gmail.com. Okay, just save that. All right, so I just sent that over to you. I think I got that correct. Yes, I did. All right, so basically, you, I just set you up on a subscription on the MLS. I sent you about 50 properties. Go through all of those. You know, we want to start trying pretty soon, obviously, because just about, you know, 30 days away is a great time to start because, like I explained before, about the HOAs. Okay. Yeah. Andy. Okay. Yeah. Stick I with me. I'm very good. <laughs> I'm very good. I'm the number two ranked agent in EXP related right now. I do about 250 deals a year. Um, so I'm very good at doing this. Okay. Awesome. And you said you did specialize in rentals and rentals. Yeah. And then but that doesn't mean that when you want to buy though, I can't help you because I could. <laughs> so when you want to awesome. buy, reach out to me too, good. you know, like a year or two from now, because the market's going to be lower in like a year or two, you know, interest rates should be down exactly. to 4%. So I have seen that. Yeah. yeah. So awesome. Well, um, that's about all for now. I guess just go through those. Let me know which ones you like, and then text me the address dresses then we can get started okay awesome i appreciate your help thank You're you so very much. welcome i'll talk to you soon okay sounds good thanks bye mm, bye all right, guys, so that was a perfect credit client. So I've done a couple of these videos before, and I've usually had like, you know, eviction, section eight, felonies, Airbnb. Um, I've had some other things, but I've never actually done a perfect credit person before. And this client of mine now has perfect credit. So it's gonna be very, very easy to get them a place. They're not gonna be that picky. They're not gonna really have any problems like getting accepted for properties. So every property we apply for, they're probably gonna get it. So yeah, you just heard me do a lead call, cold call. You know, they had called me earlier and I just called them back and that was it. So let me move on to the next person. Okay, so I had another missed call, calling them back now. Let's see what's going on. Hi, this is Aaron. Hey, Aaron, it's Andy Coleman with EXP. I saw I had a missed call from you, so I wanted to call you back. Andy, what's up? I just watched your... Video, so oh, good to hear, good to hear I, your voice. you know, I did text you actually. Now I remember you wanted the Airbnb, right? Yep, that's me. Oh. I the video, I just watched it. That's really right. I tried to like connect with a bunch of agents where I explain the model to them and they look at me like I have six heads. <laughs> so the video was great. I think you're really on point as far as your strategy. I'm assuming that you utilize it yourself in addition to your work as an agent no honestly i don't do any airbnb myself i just help sure. like clients you know tenants like like get their own okay yeah i All should right. probably start doing it though and i probably will i'm just so busy now i don't have the time to do it myself and for what it's worth well i guess it's it's lucrative for you because you make the fee from putting your clients on the lease regardless yeah, so if you that's... do that for what it's worth i just subscribe to your <laughs> youtube channel well thank uh, you so much i appreciate but... that yeah sorry i i just went through my uh phone call missed calls and i just called you back i forgot we had texted before <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. Good. Uh, good. Are you in Miami or where are you? I'm in Boca, so but I have okay, a team okay. set up. You know, we're we're in Miami, Port St. Lucie, Jupiter, West Palm. Okay. We're all over the damn place. Awesome. So you're all okay. Cool. Yeah. So glad to connect with you. Yeah. So absolutely. Because yeah. So you, um, this is gonna be your first Airbnb. It's gonna be. I own a marketing agency that serves real estate agents. So I'm not new to the real estate ecosystem, but yeah, I'm new to um, Airbnb arbitrage. So looking to get in and like you said in your videos like right find single family homes with a pool with at least three beds that are, that are gonna net at least i don't know two grand three grand a month with a yeah. chill landlord who's like on board with um the idea and then run it extremely professionally so yes that is that's yeah you'll do very well obviously you know you want to stick to like hollywood fort lauderdale miami maybe like pompano deerfield you could do like delray exactly. west palm i mean all of these towns are going to work really well for you, except for Boca. Um, that's the only town that won't work. Uh, they, I saw they don't allow it. It's totally banned. It's Boca. banned. It's completely uh, banned. So yeah, that's 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 yeah, a no go. Unfortunate because it's a it's a good mark. But literally every single city you just said is like um, where I'm looking. I do think that right Broward and Palm Beach County, from a regulatory standpoint, I think are a little easier um, than Miami Dade. I think Pompano is like the easiest as far as what you need to do with the city, but I, I guess they're all doable. But yeah, that, that is what I'm looking to do. Let me get yeah. you all set up right now then. So, all right. I know. So did you want me to do all those towns that I just listed? Yeah. Okay. And then I you want to stick manage, closer to the water, right? I want to manage the first one myself. So sure. like, that's the, that's the only thing with West Palm. It's a great market. I love that city, but I would need to bring in like a helper. 
too far it's away. Okay, so too far. I can't just like pop up to West Palm. Mm, no. Nah. Fort Lauderdale, Pompano, Miami, but like good neighbor, like I can not like a shitty neighborhood. Like yeah. I want a good neighborhood with a pool and. I don't know. I, I do feel like boasting like close to the beach. That's the whole like psychology of why travelers come to Florida. I know. That, like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'll do it in so, like 10, 15 minutes of the beach. You know, I mean, obviously yeah, totally, the closer, totally. the better. But, you know, I won't exclude any of them. Totally. All right, and then I'm going to go... You're, create, you're creating a search in the MLS? Or? Exactly. Yep, I'm going to okay. set you up directly in the MLS. I got the whole radius set up, and then obviously I'm only going to do single families. I'm going to do up to how much per month? If it's profitable, I could go to like five, 55. I'm going to go up to six. I'll go up to six, yeah. you know, and obviously you need a pool home, so... Um, need, you have to have a pool home. Otherwise, yeah. what are it's, you even doing? You're not, you're no, not making money. It's too saturated yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a pool. Yeah, you're not going to make money. Um, so, all right, pool homes only. I'm going to do furnished or unfurnished. This way, just in case you have to furnish your own, you know, preferably furnished though, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do no HOAs and I'll do, I'll do like mm, 1300 square feet minimum, anything below that, you're, you know, it's going to be too cramped. Nobody's going to want it. So I got it. I got, I got the whole thing set up. Um, so let me save this right now. Then I know you had said that, you know, you want a few of these. Cause now I remember our text message. You wanted yeah. a few of these properties, right? Yeah. Like I want several by end of year. It's a, I literally, I'm fresh off your video. So yeah. like, it's like you, you don't get rich off one, but nope. you use the cash flow from the first one to build up a portfolio. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I got That's my intention. I yeah, ramp this way up. and it works real well. You know, if you saw my video, you know, I got that one client who went from like an old beat up like Camry up into like a Corvette. And, you know, that's exactly. true. He, it really happened. So, um, yeah, it works. You know, it's slow and steady wins the race, as, as they say. So, all right, let I'd me say like four by end of year. End of yeah, 23. yeah that's that's that's, like that's great. So that's, that's good for you. Yeah, you good. Like, good for me. Days. Good for you. Yeah, I make half a month's rent commission. You you're gonna make you know two two grand twenty five hundred a month. You know, <laughs> eventually you'll yeah. start buying these. You know, because buying them is the ultimate way to do it. But um, you know, to start Airbnb arbitrage is the best. Totally. totally. Awesome. All right, let me save this now. Sorry, what was your name again? A A R O N. All right, and what's your email address? At gmail. At gmail.com. Okay, I got it. So I'm going to send you all of these right now. It'll be coming for myself. Go through all of these. Let me know which ones you like. So I don't know if you heard in my video, but, you know, obviously for Airbnb, we got to be aggressive. We got to apply for yeah. multiple properties, you know, at the same time. And then I just use the same application over and over again. It's just the rent spree, credit back on eviction report, and rental application, proof of income and driver's license. That's it. You know, it could be three pay stubs, three bank statements, tax returns, offers, letters, whatever you want to use. And then I'll yeah. fire out as many of these offers as possible. And then whoever says yes, then we'll go see it in person. If you like it, we move forward. If not, we keep looking. But they're binding or they're no, non -binding? no, 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 non-binding whatsoever. It's like a pre-approval, basically. Okay. Yeah, it works okay, very well. Cool. So, because I'll, so I'll be honest, right. only one out of ten of these properties are going to say yes. Typically, that's right. the odds. So that's that. the percentages. Yep. So you know. But I like your I, I like your proactive strategy of even just hitting them with the offer before you even see it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's that's how I do thirty deals a month. You know, so, yeah. uh, that's how I do a lot of these that's every single hard. month. You no know, no one else is doing that. No, of course but, not. But, Nobody but, knows what but, they're doing. But in the but they'll <laughs> see in the offer you're making you're putting it in the offer that it's for SDRs. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. 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 I'll, 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 okay. I'll put in the whole thing in there for, you know, Airbnb arbitrage. I'll even spell it out for him. You know, we could even yeah, attach yeah. your sublease agreement. If I have sample subleases, if you want to use your own, great. If you have a business plan, you know, about your company that you're uh, starting right now, we can include that, you know, uh, a, yeah. a letter to the owner, like anything extra, you know, oh yeah, I'm being very upfront and honest with them. Thankfully, I still have a corporate job. I mean, I want to leave it by way of Airbnb arbitrage, but my point is, is I have 150K W-2 income. Oh, from last year, fantastic. I have clean, no evictions, clean criminal, whatever. My credit is 750 plus. So I have all these sexy qualifications that we can use on the personal side. Ideally, would like to sign as an LLC. Yeah. I don't know. We could. If we can have them run me personally and then they it, sign as my company that, or what. That's exactly it. How so feasible that is. That's exactly it. You know, some of the owners will want your name also on there plus your LLC. Some of them will let you run it personally, then just use your LLC for the lease agreement. So going to be up to the owners. But yeah, that's what we do. We run it personally and then, you know, we can transfer over to the LLC. Okay. And what do you see typically in the risk mitigation side? It's a two-month 
penalty to exit. Yep. It's not going two, well. Two month liquidated damages. Yep. Standard in Florida. So, you know, honestly, if you're cool with the owner and you're like, hey, it's not working out. Can you get this rented? Sometimes I'll let you slide. You know what I mean? If you're really cool yeah. and upfront with them. Other times, no. But, you know, you, you listen, it's a business. You know, you're running a business. You're getting some side income. So it, there's okay. always risks involved, as, as you know. Totally. I have no plans on breaking. I just yeah. you want to know what the deal is when you... Two months. Yeah, worst, start, so worst you, case you know, scenario. You're right, it, just from understanding. But yes, okay, understood. So two months. You just text me all the addresses of the ones you like. And then, I mean, do you want me to send you the application link now? You don't have to fill it out, but you just have for it rent, handy. For rent free? Yeah, I can send it now if so you want. It's actually convenient because I was late stage in this property in Pompano last week. And then... In exchange for me signing as an LLC, the owner asked for four additional months up front. So first, last, security, no, plus four more? From the deal. But point is, I already paid the 38 bucks for rent spree. I have all the data in there. And then you get unlimited pulls for 30 days. So point is, is my oh, rent spree is already filled out. Yeah, I'll helpful. tell you what. I'm going to resend you the link just in case you, for whatever reason, can't get it. If you can get it, all you got to do, download it and send it to me and I can use that download what the, the, the data the rent free application the rent free application because i don't have access to your personal account so um you know you would just have oh, to send it to it. me okay cool yeah. yeah send me that link um okay cool yeah send me that and then i'll go through the list does it auto update like can you oh yeah from the mls for yeah. what hits every morning or 100 percent. You'll, you'll automatically get i already put you on a subscription so like Every time a brand new listing hits the market, you'll be the first person to see it. It will be sent to your email directly. Okay. Cool. Yeah, like instantly. No, that's, so <laughs> that's, perfect. that's perfect. Yeah, they, we need more like agents doing what you're doing because wow. I don't know why. Like so many agents don't even want to touch this space when it's so lucrative. They have like a the second you say it, their brain like shuts off. It's uh, it's, it's so weird. Um, no, no agents. You're like, like that's my that's a, that's a, that's my goal now. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying. That's why I'm making all these YouTube videos. I'm trying to inform, enlighten agents. Like, hey, there's another way. You don't have to work with buyers. You don't have to work with sellers. You can work with renters, and you can make a crazy amount of money doing it. Educating your agent colleagues on how to transition into more of this <laughs> space. But cool, man. I yeah. love it. I love it. That's awesome. Um, all right, I'll review the properties right now, and then yeah, I'll get back to you shortly on. On, on which one awesome and, uh, hopefully we can get something done yeah so we'll, we'll get a lot like done yeah. a lease for the right deal in the next week uh, like I'm, yeah I'm ready. yeah no it sounds like you're serious you know i'm serious obviously i'll make it happen we'll do a few of these you know and then hopefully one day you'll want to start buying some you know start investing in properties and everything and then you know that's how you build real wealth totally the goal is i only need like three or four of these to leave my to leave my uh my corporate job yeah That's exactly milestone yeah one. yeah we'll see where we're at yeah and then um, you get yeah, five or ten or twenty and then you know <laughs> awesome awesome keep me posted on the addresses and then we'll go from there cool thanks andy Appreciate you're welcome man talk to you soon thanks all right bye, bye. Wow. Um, a lot to unpack right there. So yeah, I was just going through my missed calls and calling people back. He had texted me earlier about finding an Airbnb property. Um, so it was just, it was that guy. Um, and you heard all of that. First of all, you heard him talk about why don't other realtors do this? I didn't even have to tell him to say this. He was just like, why are realtors not doing this? Because it's crazy not to, you can make so much money doing rentals. You saw, I just made two phone calls Two people picked up and I got two clients out of it. One of them wants around, well, let's just say, you know, $2,700 a month. I'll make like $1,800 commission off of that with the fee I charge. This guy over here, he wants up to $6,000 and he wants multiple properties. Imagine that. That's $3,000 commission plus my fee. And if he gets four of these properties, that could be, what is that? Uh, $12,000 in commission. I could be making $12,000 in commission off of that one phone call. I mean, guys, you know, it's crazy. You have to start working with renters. Look how easy it is. You pick up the phone, you call them back, you know, you, you put up your any broker advertised properties or you get permission from the listing agent, put them up. They'll call you and all you have to do is have a conversation just like I did right now. That's all you have to do. He's going to work with me for a very long time. And I guarantee you, we're going to rent a bunch of Airbnb properties. And then one day, maybe it's a year, maybe it's two years from now, things are going to be going well for him. And guess who he's going to use to buy all of his properties? He's going to use me. Okay. And then I'm going to be his investor realtor because he's going to be investing in a ton of properties. That's how you get these amazing clients. It all starts from a phone call.
Well, guys, that's about it, okay? I did two calls for you today. I hope you guys really loved this video. I hope you found it really informative. If you did, smash the like button, drop a comment below, and I'll catch everybody in the next one. All right, that was pretty good.